Good day everyone. We will discuss on a scenario where synchronous secondary replica crashes and ways to remove the crash replica and then add it back when it comes online in this video. Let's get started. We'll be using this environment for this demo. We have three replicas, JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are uh, uh, synchronous replica. JBS AG3 will be our asynchronous replica. JBS AG1 will act as uh, the primary replica for this particular uh, scenario. So in this scenario, what happens is like uh, JBS AG2 goes down and um, uh, the update from uh, the infrastructure team is that JBS AG2 is not going to come online anytime soon. Basically, the server has, uh, itself has gone down. So what we'll basically do is like we will remove JBS AG2 from always on availability group and then from the uh, cluster as well. Uh, once um, uh, after um, uh, one or two day when uh, JBS AG2 server comes online, basically it will be a brand new server for just for this scenario. At that point in time, what we'll do is like we will add that JBS AG2 back to the cluster nodes and then we will add it back to the always on availability group. So this is the scenario that we are going to work as far as this video is concerned. Uh, so um, uh, let's look at the always on availability dashboard first. So if you look at it here right now, um, a JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3, uh, we have three uh, replicas. And if you see here, uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 and JBS AG3, all three are synchronous replicas. So what we'll do now, we will basically change JBS AG3 to uh, asynchronous. And then let's refresh it. Okay, so if we see here, JBS AG1 and AG2 are the synchronous replica with automatic failover, and JBS AG3 is the asynchronous replica. JBS AG1 is the primary, AG2 and AG3 are the secondary. So now what we'll do is like we will um, 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 uh, uh, we will follow the things that we will be performing when JBS AG2 goes down. Okay, so JBS AG2 is down now. So um, if you can see here, uh, the synchronous replica, JBS AG2, which is our secondary replica is down now. So uh, what you'll do is like, we will uh, uh, perform the activities to remove JBS AG2. So in the meantime, let's uh, check uh, JBS AG2 here. And then see if you are able to uh, uh, connect to it. Okay, so uh, uh, we are getting a message that network path was not found. So it is uh, uh, down now. So let's disconnect that. Okay, so we are just uh, left with JBS AG1 and AG3 now. Let's disconnect the listener also. Okay, now if we go to um, the primary replica, which is your JBS AG1, and then look at the uh, availability replicas here. We are able to see that uh, JBS AG2 uh, uh, is with a uh, cross mark, which basically tells like it is down. And one more thing that we will try here is like we will try a, a ping command to uh, JBS AG2. So let's try a ping to JBS AG2. So it is basically giving a message like destination host. Uh, uh, unreachable, so um, we are getting a request time dot also. So it uh, kind of tells us like uh, uh, JBS AG2 is definitely down. So now what we'll do is like we will um, first remove um, JBS AG2 from always on availability group and then uh, remove it from the cluster. So right click uh, JBS AG2 and then click on remove from availability group. Click OK and uh, it is removed now. So now what we can do is like, uh, now that um, um, uh, JBS AG2 is removed, let's head back to uh, cluster administrator. And then what we'll do is like, we'll go to the nodes and we can see that uh, JBS AG2 status is down. So what we'll do is like right click on that. And then we have an uh, option here uh, to basically evict it because right now the scenario is like JBS AG2 is not going to come online anytime soon and this server needs to be replaced. So that's the reason we are removing it 
and uh, once uh, the new server comes in and uh, renamed as JBS AG2, we will bring it online. But right now the scenario is like it is completely down. It needs to be evicted. So we'll go ahead and uh, evict this one from the cluster. So let's wait for it to uh, uh, get evicted. Okay, so uh, JBS AG2 is removed. Let's look at uh, uh, availability group here. Everything looks good. We have two replicas. And everything seems to be good. So uh, at this moment, you can take a decision whether to change your um, uh, JPS AG3 server, which is an asynchronous replica to synchronous replica. But in my case, um, uh, JPS AG1 and uh, AG2 is in uh, East US and AG3 is in uh, uh, Korea Central. At least uh, right now, I'm not going to change the commit mode to uh, synchronous for AG3. But yeah, uh, you can uh, um, uh, decide on that and then you guys can um, uh, implement whatever is uh, fine for your requirement. But for me, I'll be leaving it as asynchronous only. Okay, so JBS AG2 is online now. So let's uh, check it here. Let's ping it first. Yep, it is pinging. So let's try connecting uh, JBS AG2 from SSMS. So AG2 is online. So uh, the understanding is like uh, the crash server is basically replaced with a new server. And uh, that new server is uh, renamed as JBS AG2 and uh, it is now online. So now what we'll do is like we will first add the server uh, into the cluster nodes. And uh, once that is done, what we'll do is like we will uh, basically go ahead and uh, uh, add it in the always on availability group also. So I'm right clicking on nodes and then clicking on add node. Let's click on next. So here let's uh, type the required server name. Click on add. It is added now. So let's click on next. So I'm going to uncheck this option, add all eligible storage to the cluster. Let's click on next, then wait for it to get added. Okay, so JBS AG2 is added now. If you look here under the nodes, we are able to see JBS AG2 as well. Now that uh, JBS AG2 is added, let's head back to SSMS and then go to the availability replicas folder. Uh, right click add replica. Click on next. Let's um, connect to JBS AG3. Click on next. Add replica here. Let's add JBS AG2. So we are getting this message failed to obtain cluster information. It is a specified instance of SQL server is not running on a code or the user lacks uh, permission of SQL server instance. Okay, so what we'll do now is like let's log into uh, JBS AG2. Since it was um, uh, uh, rebuilt recently, what we'll do is like we will uh, uh, uncheck and then um, uh, recheck this uh, uh, option here. So let's apply. Click on OK. And uh, we will restart the SQL server. And then enable it back. Go to always on availability group. Click on apply. Okay. And we will restart the SQL services one more time. And now we will see if uh, we are able to connect to uh, 
um, uh, JVS AG2 from um, uh, always on availability group uh, add replica wizard. Let's start the agent also. Okay, so SQL Server is uh, fully operational now. Let's go head back to JVS AG2. And then let's try adding it to uh, yep so now uh, we were able to add it back so the thing is like um, uh, unchecking and checking um, uh, always on availability group option from the configuration manager from jbs ag2 actually did the trick so it is just because like we removed it from the cluster and we added back so there is some uh, mismatches um, as far as the uh, metadata is concerned so once we unchecked it and checked it back and restarted the sql services everything seems to be working fine so let's so this should be in uh, synchronous uh, replica so let me check that let's click on next i'm going to use automatic seeding okay so we are uh, getting this message that the database is already there so what we'll do is like let's head back to uh, uh, jbs ag2 and then see if the database is there yeah so what we'll do is like we will delete it okay and then now we will try it okay now that we have deleted the database let's read in the validation okay the validation went on fine so click on next then let's add it and see if it uh, adds fine so it is joining and yeah everything seems to be good so now we, what we'll do is like we will yep after we added uh, JBS AG2, everything seems to be good. We are uh, back to uh, uh, the olden days wherein uh, we have just JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 as uh, synchronous replica and JBS AG3 as uh, asynchronous replica. So uh, in this um, uh, video, we uh, basically uh, checked like uh, JBS AG2 went uh, down and uh, it was uh, advised to us like uh, the server needs a complete rebuild so we had to remove that server from uh, always on availability group replica and then uh, it was removed from the cluster and once the server came online back we uh, added it back to uh, the cluster and then we uh, performed an add replica and right now we are business as usual thanks for watching have a great day jai hind